Okay, beautiful soul family. So one more. Um, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop because uh, <laughs> Divine Spirit is telling me to say it. Okay? And I am bringing forth a message. So this is a collaboration. It's bringing forth pieces, you know. So in one video is about the pottery, about Divine Spirit who who is forming his hands. Divine Spirit's hands, God's hands is forming the pottery. And that pottery is to hold the treasure. And then there is the other pottery that is beautified. And so the Vice Spirit was telling me about the word appearances again. Is watch out for appearances, okay? Because, you know, there are people who appear, but on the outside, all that energy is going according to the appearances. They appear happy. They appear full of wealth. They appear to be blessed. Dot, 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 you fill in the blank. But once that pottery that's been beautified on the outside is broken, you will see that it is empty. And the, the pottery that doesn't look so beautified on the outside, that's going to be broken too. And what shines through is the beautiful treasures that is within, the Holy Spirit, the light that is within you. And so the Divine Spirit um, was bringing me back to this. Also, um, it's about the appearances. Um, as brought out here in Revelation chapter 13. And we're going to go to verse 3. Actually, let's go to verse 2. The beast I saw was like a leopard. Its feet were like a bear's. The vice priest telling me from the beginning. Okay, so chapter 13, and it says, actually chapter 12, verse 18, where it says the beast from the sea. Now, what's so interesting is that the vice spirit was showing me that okay the bible says the beast coming out from the sea okay what's so interesting the sea is the water right so the water is emotions all right and so as we understand what's going on in in terms of morality the the emotions are so just toxic okay and the beast rises out from the sea of the emotions of toxicity, okay? And so that's what I'm seeing. That's what the Vice Spirit is showing me. The Vice Spirit is showing me that out of the whole sea of people, I was looking at a wave, a sea of people and their emotions, which were of, of the seat of jealousy, of envy, um, of greed, of hatred. And from that sea of emotions, the beast was rising. The dragon stood on the sand of the sea. And I saw a beast coming up out of the sea. It had ten horns and seven heads on its horns were ten crowns, and on its heads were blasphemous names. The beast I saw was like a leopard. Its feet were like bears, a bear's, and its mouth was like a mouth. See, what you're seeing is appearances, shape-shifting. It's likening to these different things, okay? The dragon gave the beast his power, his throne, the great authority. One of its heads appeared to be fatally. Okay, let's go back. One of its heads appeared to be fatally wounded, but its fatal wound was healed. Now, if it appears to be wounded, that means it was made to look like it was wounded, but truth be told, was not wounded. It was a lie. All Satan does is lies anyways. There's nothing ever about truth. Not ever, you know? And it appeared, appeared to be fatally wounded, but was not wounded. But its fatal wound was healed. The Vice Spirit was telling, is telling me here that when something is wounded, that doesn't mean that they died. We go through wounds all the time. And we are, in fact, healed. But this is, is so abrupt. It's 
fatal. You see, everything is on a bigger plane. It's fatally healed. I mean, fatally wounded. And this is divine spirit. The reason why I'm doing this is because divine spirit was showing me and I didn't capture. I didn't, I didn't speak on it when I just did the video that I just brought out, but it's circle with a circle within a circle. And that look, it's all a stage. Everything is a stage. Everything is a show. It's, everything is an act. When this takes place, this right here is to not only grip the minds of the people, which will direct the people in means of their body, but it's also to grip their emotions. Because when someone is, you know, when they're struck, it's like, really, it's, it's, they're really throwing themselves in. It's, it's a funeral. They're throwing themselves in. You see, the thing about, and my ears ring, but the thing about when Yeshua, you see, Divine Spirit is telling me, listen, Satan did all of these things and kidnapped um, the children of Divine Spirit. Kidnapped, really, okay? Tempted to, to cause us to fall, okay? And the thing about it is, is that the ransom is paid, right? Now, what was brought out in other videos is that Divine Spirit tells us not to do these things. And matter of fact, in the beginning, um, that's the whole point in which Cain was marked. Cain was marked to show a sign that whoever would try to um, rain vengeance upon Cain, that they would see the mark and they wouldn't do it. And so it's the same victimized mentality that they that they have. This is why I did it, because of da-da-da-da-da-da. But the thing about it is, is that they choose not to be healed. At that point in time, Cain should have said, thank you. The Vice Spirit even provided the land of Nod, truth be told. But still, not thankful. All of that was grace. Didn't say sorry and didn't say thank you. Still caught up in that victimized mentality. And so the thing about it, the Vice Spirit is telling me that the same things are just happening today. We are to worship divine spirit and spirit and truth. And here is all about the, the showy display. When you're worshiping divine spirit, when you're praying to divine spirit, it's not a showy display. But it's about the integrity. It's about really bringing forth a spiritual communion to divine spirit. Because it's not about what people can see. It's not about the appearances. It's about really something far more deeper. And so anyways, the Vine Spirit was telling me that this is a death ritual. It's a death ritual. And, there, and people who mourn for this beast that appear to be fatally wounded, they themselves have sacrificed. And they have totally put themselves in mind, body, and soul. The vice spirit is telling me because Satan wants to totally be worshipped. All of the person must worship mind, body, and soul, mind, body, and spirit. And so this is why when when you whenever you pick up the Bible or you 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 going on your purpose. You, there's something that tries to prevent that alignment. And so here, this is a death ritual. I mean, there's different things and actors and actresses, they do these death rituals and people mourn and it's about getting that energy. So again, don't believe the hype. This is all a stage. Don't believe the hype. This is all a stage. This is part of a ritual that they will be doing to make him seem more than he is. And I think truly, you know, at that point in time, you will be worshiping Satan, worshiping the Antichrist. And then there's going to be something that, cause I don't, I don't do with this. So there's, there's going to be something that's going to be taking place where 
it's just going to be even more worse. So beautiful soul family, this is what the Vice Spirit showed me. Don't believe the hype. Especially when this takes place, the Antichrist is going to be appear to be fatally wounded and healed. It's all a mimic. They don't create anything new. If they do create, it's very distorted. And so it is going to get worse because that's a death ritual. And like I said, you see these different actors and actresses and it's all a death ritual that they're performing to be empowered even more. They don't do anything new. And they've been doing this in front of our face the whole time. Beautiful soul family, this is all that I have. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. Namaste.